vamos a criticar otra cerveza mexicana y qué cerveza es y un, es una de las más famosas cervezas del grupo modelo y es negra modelo that's right guys you hear me speaking in spanish you see the mexican macro beer in front of me so you know what's up it's time for another mexican beer review on location down Mexico way. That's right. Now, Grupo Modelo, which is now part of AB InBev, was originally out of Mexico City, El DF, or Distrito Federal of Mexico. But now they're owned by the bigger boy. So I guess the bigger ate the bigger and the macro ate the more macro. Or, yeah, something like that. Anyways, this is a Munich or Dunkel Lager, from what research tells me. It's 5.4% ABV and 24 IBUs. Now, I decided to drink this beer because I could get this at home anytime. It's readily available. Um, it's cheap down here. I know it's super fresh. And also, I would probably never buy this at home because there's so much choice and so many better beers out there. I really don't buy macro beers for that reason because I want to you know, discover new things and look into other stuff. But since I'm down here kicking in Mexico, why not, right? Yeah, maybe? Uh, anyways, it doesn't matter, does it? It's time to pop the bo top bottle top on this, get in the glass, and tell you what's up with the Negra Modelo. That's right. Now this is probably, I think, their highest rated beer. It comes in a pretty bottle that we fold the foil down on, and we'll get it in a, a very posh glass for what this is. Ooh, that's really thin looking, isn't it? Now they call this Negra Modelo, but it's really more of an amber color. Got a little dirty glass here, so we just give it a pop, and as you can see, maybe two. All the bubbles go bye-bye. So, it's a super clear, kind of caramel amber color. Um, there's no head retention at all. It was maybe a quarter finger head at maximum. Now it's just uh, settled down to a off-white kind of khaki film on the top of it. I'm sure if I swirl this, I get a little tiny bit of glass lacing, but I don't have room for that. And there's not gonna be any alcohol lakes either, 5.4% ABV now, is there? So let's get a nose on this. I'm gonna guess this is gonna have a lot of caramel smell. There won't be much hops. And that's about it. Maybe, you think? Have I had a couple macro lockers down here? I think I have. Let's dive in. Ah, imagine that. It smells like caramel. Toffee. A little bit of like roasty notes to it. Actually, I get a little vanilla off of it. That's kind of cool. Um, not getting any off taste. No corn, no cardboard, nothing like that. Just a lot of sweet and maybe the faintest bit of floral hops in the background, and that's it. So, I'm right thirsty, which is probably the best way to drink this beer when you're thirsty. I'm diving in. Cheers. It's not that bad. It's a lot of caramel, a bit of toffee. After that, it's got like a sweet, bready taste to it. It's sweet, sweet, sweet all the way through. A lot, like I said, it's caramel, toffee, sweet breadiness, finished by very light floral hops. No bitterness at all, no alcohol taste. There was no alcohol aroma. Super easy to drink. The carbonation is pretty mild. Let me see if I put a little more in the glass if I can get some head on it, let's see. There we go. Get a little bit. There you go. You can see it maybe better what it looks like. That head probably won't last long. Let's see if I get any more aromas off of it. No. No off aromas still. No alcohol. None of that. But the same caramel and everything I mentioned before. And maybe a bit of honey taste now that it sits on my palate for a little while. But that's about it. Very one note kind of sweet caramel toffee tasting beer it's not bad it's probably the modelo product that i like the most other modelo beers i like regular modelo their regular lager in the can but all the other products corona and stuff like that just are meh to the max and i i just don't like but this one i would drink again i would not seek it out i wouldn't bring this back for a friend and say, hey, try this, this is great, because it's, it's not great, it's okay. I've had, had a lot lot better Dunkel Lagers than this before, but actually I like Dos Equis Amber probably a little more than this, and um, uh, Superior Morena, those are both um, uh, Heineken, you know, Cuauhtémoc Moctezuma products. Um, and as you know, I have kind of a lean towards them. I think the quality is higher and those beers are more European-like. This is more macro beer-like, but it's not horrible. 
Um, so would you grade a beer like this? Great beer and beer I mean, both have grades on this since it's so widely available. Great beer gives it a 21, which is way too low because they're idiots like usual. 21's, it's way better than 21. Beer Advocate gives it a 76. I can see people grading at this, especially if you're holding it to the standard of what a Munich Dunkel Lager should be. Um, I'm gonna give it a B minus. I'm gonna give it an 82. It's a good beer. It's nothing I would seek out, but um, I would have it with dinner down here. I would buy it and probably drink it again down here, but back in the States, I would, I would never seek this out. And also you pay a premium there. It's quite cheap down here. It's less than $8 a six pack down here, but at home it's more expensive because it's an import. So that's my grade on this. If you've had it, maybe this is one of the few beers that I've reviewed down here that you may have had. Um, let me know what you think. I like to put pro quo in the back and forth. So to the next DJ Brew Tube, thanks a to each and every one of you guys for watching. Remember to think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement, and maybe not the macro beer movement so much. So, till then, like I said, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And till then, I guess I got nothing but some macro beer drinking ho-hums for you. <laughs> and a big, you know what's coming, that's right, peace out!